Alrighty legends, welcome back to your 26th video on introduction to PHP and MySQL. And now we're finally going to start jumping into loops. And if you've programmed before, I'm sure you know a lot about loops. But if you have not, loops are where it's at. Every single programming language has loops and use the same ones for the most part. So if you learn the loops in this video, they will roll over to JavaScript, Ruby, C, C Sharp, C++, etc. Always know that once you learn one programming language, or OOP, Object Oriented Programming Language, then the others are light years easier to learn. Okay, so loops. Uh, I'm going to start with the while loop because I personally think that the while loops are the simplest type of loop. And uh, okay, here's how it works. We're going to create a variable and then create an expression. And if the expression is true, PHP is going to execute the statement repeatedly. So follow along. Let's go ahead and create a variable. And we'll create a variable called A. I get a text message. And I got invited to a party. Number 52. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we created a variable uh, <clears throat> called A. And we equaled it to the integer or the number one. So let's go ahead and create our while loop now. So we're going to type while, just like we did with switch or if else. Then we're going to create our parentheses and then our braces is what's going to execute. So in here, this is what this is an expression we're going to create or a condition we're going to create. So we could do anything. I'm going to do a is less than 50, which is true. And the loop is only going to execute it if, if it is true because a is equal to 1 and a is definitely equal to less to 50. We'll do less than or equal to 50. So let's go ahead and create let's echo the variable a, but I want to concatenate. Remember concatenate where we had the period, a break tag to it. Because I don't want this whole loop to output going all across the screen. I want it to go vertically. I want it to go all the way down. So our browser is just going to look like kind of like a text editor. And I'm going to close that out. And remember that BR tags need to go in quotations when you're inside PHP tags. When you're outside, it doesn't matter. We can just go ahead and type it like that. And if I don't increment it, if I don't let PHP know how I want to increment it, it's just going to loop forever. It's just going to loop. Uh, it's going to echo forever. It's, it's hard for me to explain. The browser is going to crash. So we need to let the browser know or PHP know that we want to increment it by one. So to increment by one, we type our variable and then the plus sign twice. If we want to subtract, we type the minus sign twice. Nope, the minus, nope. The minus sign twice, we close it out. But we want to add. So we want to start from one and we want to go all the way up to 50 because it's less than or equals to 50. So we'll type A plus plus and I'm going to close this out. I'm going to save it. So let me look at this really quick. We've got A equals one. We have a while loop. We're going to, A is less than or equal to 50. That's true. So this should run and we're going to echo it with a break tag so it's going to go vertically and we're going to increment it by one so let's go ahead and reload it perfect we just created an awesome program so this could save us a lot of work so it goes from one all the way down to 50 right there you guys see that okay hopefully you're following along and you're pro I know what you're thinking right now you're like yeah you know I know how to make that program but how is it gonna how am I gonna benefit from this well Little by little, you're going to see how things come together, and PHP is a is a is a dynamic language. So we're going to be able to source things in without having to hard code, which is create new static code for everything we want to do. So stay with me, and I promise by the end of our video series, you guys are all going to be legends. 